Hello engineers welcome back to new video in this video we will see design of staircase with cantilevering from spine beam okay this is the spine beam you can see this cross section this is the spine beam uh, this the cantilevering the uh, what uh, threads from the uh, spine beam okay you can see in this plan so this is the plan uh, this is cross beam these both are cross beam this is the inclined spine beam and uh, the thread width is 300 mm riser is 160 mm okay now uh, steps having 300 mm steps having 300 mm thread and 160 mm riser this is the given data width of this staircase is 150 uh, 1500 mm and length of the each landing is 1200 mm length of the each landing is 1200 mm okay uh, live load we have to consider 5 kilo newton per meter square and m20 grade of concrete and fe4 on 5 okay so you can see this uh, given data okay now we'll see the solution <clears throat> now first thing we need to find the effective length of this step okay effective length so we have uh, what uh, 1500 width 1500 width that we need to find the effective length of this step that 1500 divided by 2 that 750 mm will get the effective length of the cantilever effective cantilever length of this step okay effective cantilever length of this step okay 750 mm now assume depth for cantilever l by 10 l by 10 depth ratio okay according to the s456 Uh, 750 divided by 10 will get the uh, depth effective depth is 75 mm okay will get the depth is 75 mm okay so a uh, self fit now we need to find the self fit self fit is equals to uh, 300 mm this width uh, width of the thread 300 into 300 into this 75 0.075 into density of concrete okay we'll get the uh, what self fit of this step okay now finishes we are going to use 0.6 kilo newton per meter square and 0.6 into 0.3 0.6 into 0.3 this is the length okay this is the length up to this length we are finding the weight okay uh, 0.18 kilo newton per meter square now total dead load 0.563 plus This plus this will get 0.743. That factor dead load is uh, 1.115 kilo newton per meter. Okay. Now we need to find the uh, live load. Okay. Now we need to consider the live load. Here in case one, the factor live load 1.5 into 5. This 5 kilo newton per meter square we have assumed over here into 0.3 into what 0.3. This is the width of the thread. Okay, point uh, three. This is two point two five kilo newton per meter. In case two, one point five. This is the factor into one point three. What is this? According to the IS four IS one eight seventy five part two, impose load on stair. Impose load on stairs. Okay, impose load on stairs. Uh, at the uh, end of the cantilever. and uh, cantilever end of the stair or you can say step we need to consider 1.3 we need to consider 1.3 that we are considering suppose this is the we are considering the 5 kilo newton per meter square okay 5 kilo newton per meter square but in case of cantilever portion here at the end in case of free end we need to consider over here 1.3 kilo newton okay 1.3 kilo newton according to the is 875 part 2 okay now here 1.5 into 1.3 1.5 into 1.3 that is 1.95 1.95 okay now bending moment due to dead load bending moment due to dead load wl square by bending moment due to dead load is wl square by 2 will get 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.341 0.
1.314 किलो न्यूटन मीटर बेंडिंग मोमेंट ड्यू टू इम्पोज लोड ड्यू टू लाइव लोड डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वायर बाय टू डब्ल्यू एल स्क्वायर बाय टू ओके दिस वी आर कंसिडरिंग केस वन दिस डब्ल्यू ओके टू पॉइंट टू फाइव एल स्क्वायर बाय टू एल स्क्वायर बाय टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री थ्री किलो न्यूटन मीटर नो और सेकेंड केस वी नीड टू कंसिडर दिस वन वी नीड टू कंसिडर दिस वन ओके वन पॉइंट नाइन फाइव इन टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव हियर लोड इन टू लेंथ हियर लोड इन टू दिस इज दॉइंट लोड ओके नॉट ए यूडीएल दिस इज दॉइंट लोड एट दी फ्री एंड वी आर कंसिडरिंग ओके पॉइंट लोड लोड इन टू लेंथ विल गेट वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स थ्री हियर इन दिस टू दिस वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स थ्री इज गवर्न राइट दिस इज दवर्निंग ओके सो वी नीड टू कंसिडर दिस वन ओके हेन्स एम यू इज इक्व टू Uh, this total MU point three one four plus one point four six three will get MU one point seven 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 kilo newton meter. Okay. Using this, we can find the required depth of the what staircase. Okay. MU root under root of MU divided by point one three eight FCK into B one one point seven seven triple seven into ten raised to the power six divided by you can put these values. Okay. We'll get forty six mm. The required depth is forty six mm. Okay, this forty six mm is less than seventy five mm. Now the adopted depth is okay here. Uh, adopted depth is okay here with clear cover twenty mm. Table uh, for using this clear cover, you can use this table number sixteen as four five six four mild exposure and ten ten mm die off bar. For for mild exposure, we are taking the clear cover twenty mm. And uh, usually we are taking 10 mm die-off bar. Okay. Now D is equals to 75 minus 20. This clear cover half of the die-off bar will get 50 mm. Will get what? 50 mm. It is okay. Now reinforcement we need to calculate. Okay. A S T is equals to point. We can use this formula. 0.5 F C K by F Y. One under root of one minus 4.6 M U divided by F C K B D square into B D. Okay. Put the values in this formula. We'll get one one eight mm square. We'll get what one one eight mm square. Okay. Now provide using this AST. Provide three of eight mm die off bar. Three of eight mm die off bar at top. Okay. At top. Three of eight mm at top and six mm die at two fifty mm center to center as a distribution steel as a Distribution steel, okay, uh, and development length. You can use this M according to M twenty grade of concrete eight mm dia SP sixteen table number sixty five. Okay, uh, you can see over here, here, this one, this one, this one. Okay, this one, three of three of eight mm dia of bar, and these these are the distribution bar at two fifty mm center to center. Okay, we'll get this still now. Okay, now we need to find the we need to design the spine beam. This one, this one spine beam. Okay, this spine beam we need to design this. In this length of the stair is, uh, we are assuming ten number of steps and thread is three hundred mm. We'll get three thousand mm. Okay, length of this stair, length of the two landing, length of the Two landing. We have taken each landing twelve hundred mm. No, twelve hundred into two. Two landing, twenty four hundred mm. Okay, two thousand four hundred mm. The total length is five thousand five thousand four hundred mm. Okay, got it. Now we need to deduct the cross beam width of the cross beam. Here, this one. We need to deduct the width of the cross beam. Okay, this one we need to deduct. How much it is? It is three hundred mm. It is three hundred mm. Now we will find the effective length of the beam. Five thousand one hundred mm. Five thousand one hundred mm. Okay. Now weight of these steps we need to find. Weight of these steps. Okay. One point five. One point five is the. Uh, what? One point five is the width of the this one step. Okay. Width of the step. One point five, one point five into what depth? Seventy five mm. 
into density of concrete will get 2.81 kilo newton meter okay per meter assume sulfate 0.5 into 0.25 0.5 into 0.25 into uh, 25 will get 31 3.13 kilo newton per meter okay here add extra for finishes 1 kilo newton this is the floor finish you can say total dead dead weight is 6.6 6.94 kilo newton per meter live load we are considering 5 kilo newton per meter okay 5 kilo newton what per meter here we are assuming this 0.5 in depth into thickness okay okay we are assuming this okay now factored load is will get 17.91 kilo newton per meter okay now we need to find the maximum bending moment w l square by 8 will get 58.23 kilo newton meter required depth is you can put this values in this formula will get 290 mm will will get 290 mm is the required depth okay provide overall depth as a 450 mm this is the depth of the beam okay overall depth we, we required is 290 but we are providing 450 mm width okay effect to depth as a 410 mm okay 410 mm now reinforcement using this formula add the all values in this formula will get ast 429 mm square 429 mm square okay now provide in beam now provide 2 of 16 mm die off bar and 1 is 1 of 12 mm die off bar at bottom okay 2 of here 2 of 16 2 of 16 and 1 of 12 at bottom okay at bottom and 8 mm 8 mm die off bar at top as a hanger reinforcement okay as a hanger reinforcement okay now we need to find the shear reinforcement okay here critical shear force occurs at a distance of effective depth from the support okay distance of effective depth from the support hence v u is equals to this w w into l by 2 w l by 2 minus we need to deduct the depth we need to deduct the depth we'll get 38.38 kilo newton shear force okay to v is equals to v u v u divided by b into d we'll get 0.374 newton per mm square now percentage of steel will get percentage of steel percentage of reinforcement at critical zone will get uh, ast provided divided by b into d into 100 will get 0.5 okay for 0.50 percentage in table number 19 as 456 will get to c value is 0.48 newton per mm square okay now this 0.48 newton per mm square to c is greater than tau v if tau c is greater than tau v no need shear reinforcement okay no need to provide shear reinforcement but we we are providing nom nominal shear stirrups we need to provide what hence only nominal shear stirrups need to be provided okay you can select two legged 8 mm die off bar or else you can select 6 mm no usually we are providing two legged 8 mm die off bar spacing uh, will get spacing we are getting 415 but we are providing uh, two legs Uh, 8 mm die off bar at 3, 300 mm center to center okay okay this is the design of spine beam this is the design of spine beam and here here is the detailing this is the 2 of 16 mm and 1 of 12 mm and uh, the, this is the staircase uh, depth of the staircase 3 of 8 mm and uh, these are this distribution still and overall depth is uh, 450 mm okay Uh, this is all about the design of staircase with cantilevering from spine beam okay and thank you very much for watching okay